So stem cells live in most tissues. They can replace themselves and then they can replace cells in those tissues which are damaged, worn out or just die. So they're really a group of cells which enable our tissues to maintain their function. The advantage of the stem cells we can obtain from the cord blood or cord tissue is that these tissues are going to be thrown away. So taking those cells is harming nobody. The kind of conditions that we can currently treat with stem cells are things like leukemia, where the bone marrow is producing diseased cells and we need effectively a new bone marrow. Or when the bone marrow has been damaged during chemotherapy, or when the bone marrow has spontaneously failed so no longer produces the cells that we need. Other sorts of conditions that are experimental at the moment, being in studies, are repairing tissues which have been damaged, so heart attacks and strokes. And particularly relevant for me are babies who have been damaged during birth or during pregnancy. First, I learned about stem cell collection around 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And actually, that time I promised to myself that if I had children, I would definitely do it for them. Uh, so when I got pregnant in 2011, I decided to store the stem cells of uh, my first child and then uh, in 2014 this year uh, we had another baby and then we did the stem cell collection for her as well. The stem cells are extracted for storage by sending a collection kit to our customer. They will then take the collection kit with them at the time of delivery and a phlebotomist will then be pre-arranged to collect the cord blood and cord tissue after the safe delivery of the baby. The sample is then sent to our laboratory where it's then processed and stored for later possible use. There are other alternatives to storing your newborn baby's stem cells with a private company, such as donating them to a public bank. In the UK, there are certain hospitals that will accept donations. However, the restrictions there, of course, is it's only a handful of hospitals that offer this service. And secondly, um, your own stem cells will not necessarily be there should you need to use them because they'll go onto a international register. Having said that, um, uh, you know, the whole concept of public donation is a very important one uh, and then one that you know, many companies like us do support. Uh, if we can use stem cells to help babies with cerebral palsy heal to give them a future, that, that would be the most wonderful thing for me to see.